It's so lovely to meet you both. Congratulations on the movie. Thank and you. What a treat for our audience to have such an iconic, groundbreaking, inspiring interviewer like myself here. <laughs> I just think it's wonderful, but we're not here to talk about me. Alison, it's all we're, about we're, you. Alison, we're only here because of you, okay? <laughs> We're here heard. because of you, yes. I heard. Well, what a great movie. For me, it was all about hope. What do you hope people take from this movie? Oh, I, I, you know, I just love that it has this positive message for young girls, that you can be the hero of your own story, that you can, through the process of transporting yourself to other universes through the power of your mind and, and what you believe in, you can also transform yourself. I hope that the message, there are several messages that Mrs. Witch, uh, my character, gives to Meg. One, one of them that I love so much, that I try to teach my own girls in South Africa, is uh, all you have to do is find the right frequency. She says this at the very beginning when she's trying to teach her how to test her. But that is the secret to life, finding the right frequency and having faith in who you are. I, I call it finding your flow staying in your flow and not trying to be in someone else's. Finding the right frequency and having faith in who you are. And also the message Mrs. Witch gives to Meg when she says, do you realize how many millions and millions and millions of things had to happen, events, yeah. events had to happen in order for you to be exactly who you are. And when you get that, when you really get that, and even when we were doing that scene, there was this like, oh yeah, that's right, a lot of things had to happen exactly the way they did, including your mom and dad being where they were in order for you specifically to show up. It instantly just makes you love yourself. Yes, it? instantly. Oh, so special. Yes, to Straight think about. Away. Yeah. I mean, that's one of your own inspirational quotes. How flattering, what a compliment for the director to put that into the film. I know, well, it's lucky when you have a director who is a friend of yours, <laughs> who, also, who also has heard almost everything I've had to say. And so many times I was saying things in the film that I'm like, oh, this feels familiar. But, but, but after Jennifer Lee and Ava got to it, it was just more, it was better articulated. But everything that we, the Mrs have to say to Meg about courage, your, your beautiful line, remember that line? Mm, yeah. Embracing your faults. Embrace your faults. Embracing oh, your faults is, is about how all of us need to live our lives, especially when you're a young girl, particularly at that age. It's a yeah. tough age. It really is. I've got a teenager now, so yeah, I know it's tough and I can't wait for him to watch Wrinkling Time, I just can't wait. So many great female leads in this movie. Was that important, Reese, for you to do something like this? Oh yeah, I mean, I've dreamt of movies like this and to get an opportunity to be in this movie. I loved this book oh. as a child. Because to it was one of the only books I read as a little girl that was a science fiction book with a girl that was the hero at the center. And it is a, a whole series of books. And I thought, wow, I can't believe Ava DuVernay was doing this. And the way she layered imagination over it is just so beautiful. I needed this film when I was a child. Yeah. I think. This is the sort of film that I think children will just absolutely adore. And now, for, look, at, look at for years and years and years to come. Other children, girls especially, will have this film yeah. and will be able to see themselves through the eyes of Meg. Yeah. That's what's incredible about what great storytelling can do and what fantastical storytelling can do and the fact that Madeline Lingle was able to write this in 1962 and it still applies as deeply and strongly as it does today. Yeah, I love the message of the inner warrior and I was wondering, yes. Reese, Oprah, <laughs> has there ever been a time in your life and you thought, you know what, I'm going to have to pull out this inner warrior. At what point did you think has it happened to you in your lives at all? I don't know a woman alive who hasn't had to pull out her inner warrior. You can't live past 10. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and not have to Every use day. It. Every yeah. day. Mm -hmm. Women are holding up this world. They're mothering children. They're building communities. They're taking care of families. They're running countries. <laughs> they're running businesses. And I think... You know, it's it's a great moment to see them coming into their own on screen. Yeah, it's, I can't believe you're in a Disney movie. Have you got? Have you actually? You're in a Disney movie. <laughs> and we have dolls. You're dolls. We're, we're in a Disney movie with dolls. Yeah. And you've done CGI, and you're using harnesses. How was that? Any <laughs> chafing? 
The first day I walked in and Oprah was on a, on a rope and I called her Oprah on a rope. <laughs> <laughs> Oprah on a rope. And I was like, uh, this is surreal, Oprah. I said, why are you doing this? She said, I just love this movie. I love this movie and that's why I'm hanging up here. I'm and the truth, Allison, is my first day, I was so unsure of myself on the ropes that I just said, once I got up, I didn't want to come down. Really? Not for lunch, not for breaks, <laughs> not for peeing. Just pass me not my ever. sandwich. No, I was like, lift, bring it up. <laughs> Send me a green juice, bring it up, bring it up. Because, um, yeah, there is a lot of chafing. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, once you get strapped in, it's just easier to stay, for me, easier to strap in. Let's see how well you know each other then. Uh-oh. Most We've likely already... <laughs> to be the last one standing. Who is it going to be? I think I, I, I think I know a lot more now because I've had to play this game and I didn't know Last much. one standing, who's it going to well, be? When you have a drink. Oh. oh, last one standing having a drink? Yeah. Oh, definitely. It's going to be me. Yeah, it's going to be her. I'm, I'm <laughs> Most likely to oh. forget their lines on set. Uh, that's going to be probably me because she's been doing it so much longer. Really? Yeah. Well, you nailed that first monologue. That was crazy. When they changed it. In the they changed it. it like that on her, and she memorized an entire two pages of dialogue. No, but she's, she's been doing this. So, so, I mean, I asked her one day, gee, Reese, how many movies have you done? And then when she told me, I was like, God, please don't ask me, don't ask me, don't ask me, don't ask me. Because <laughs> I'm going to be embarrassed to say. But she's been doing this since she was, what, 16? You've been doing some other things. Yeah, but you've she... been doing this, so she's she's got this down. <laughs> I know how to do lines. Oh no, but I could drink her under the table. She can drink me under. The First table. of all, she's smaller. She's smaller, and I, I can keep up though. She can keep up, but then I have to tap out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing I'd like to say is, can I come out with you both? Yes. <laughs> Where are the come. girls to go drinking with? Yeah. I am surprised that she can hold as much as she can, <laughs> being as tiny as she is. I'm Irish. I. <laughs> Oh, that's why. That's why I was asking you about 23 and me, because I'm oh, Irish. Okay, good. Well, before you go, I know you've had a, a phrase saying you like to squeeze the juice. Out of every... Out of the orange. Yes. And she's like the, the life and soul, so I've got you that little phrase. I've made it for oh, you. But I did... Oh, so when nice. I dropped it on the floor and I broke the glass, so that's can you so reframe cute, it? I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm going to so, put this so sorry. Oh, my yes. God. God, I love but I've got it. you something too, Oprah. Don't worry. Okay. okay. This is the so same. that is the best for her. There was that this moment, so that speech. You know about it. Oh. Golden Globes. Okay. I made this. Well, oh. I didn't make it, but I had it commissioned for you. Oh, that's Because beautiful. that was just one of the most amazing moments yeah. ever. And oh, I hope you keep you. it and that put it somewhere it. in the bathroom. A new of day is on the horizon. Yes. 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 It is so lovely to meet that you. That is so lovely and so appropriate for both of us. I love her smile. Look at that. That's very, and very you. And the glasses. And the glasses. I love mine. But I'm going to squeeze the juice. <laughs> this is what she said. Squeeze every juice we were in New Zealand. Well, you know that. We were in New Zealand, and I was like, oh, God, what are we doing today? It's the weekend. We're going to rest. And she goes, no, we got to squeeze all the juice out of this orange. Got to squeeze all the <laughs> That's juice. That's the kind of friend you need. You don't know yes. when you're going to be in New Zealand ever again. It's the one life you get. We're going to wake up, and we're going to... We're, good. We're just gonna you just said it again yesterday. We got to get we got to get squeezing this juice out of London. We got to squeeze yeah. the juice out of this orange. <laughs> well, listen, you guys need to squeeze the juice out of Wrinkling Time because it's amazing. So much. Thank, Thank you, Thank you, Allison. It's so lovely to meet you both. Thank you, Allison. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank yeah. you.